right, my friends of the show that never ends and glad you could attend. Today we're going to take a look at the independent film starring Elijah Wood, and it's a remake of the 1980s film of the same name, Maniac. Yes, this time around we're told uh, the story of Frank, who, like in the original, has a thing for mannequins. Only Frank here restores mannequins, makes them perfect. He, he loves them. Well, in his extracurricular times, Frank also kind of likes to take the scalps of women uh, and stalk them and then take their scalps. But when he runs across the beautiful photographer Anna, who wants to use his mannequins in one of her exhibitions, their friendship grows, but as their friendship grows, so does the maniac inside Frank, and we see how that affects his relationship with Anna and how it affects his life in general. Oh, maniac, let me tell you folks, surprise, a, a very a big surprise in how this film is told. Now, I knew it was a remake of the 80s, and those who are into B-horror films or the old 80s slasher films know this film very well. I thought it was an interesting take on this classic slasher tale. I did not expect the director, uh, Frank uh, Califone, I, I may have mispronounced that, I apologize, uh, I didn't expect him to present the film the way he did. He's basically putting you in the, th see the film through the eyes of the slasher. 99.9% .9 of this film is through the eyes of the slasher, which adds a whole other creep factor to it that I just loved. And, and I really thought that was an interesting way to approach a remake of a film like this, you know? Uh, and it's not shot traditionally at all in any way. Now, Elijah Wood is in here as Frank, and he does a fantastic job. We know he can do crazy. He did crazy in Sin City. He brings that level of crazy here and then amps it up like 9 or 10. This is no Frodo Baggins, folks, let me tell you. Uh, you know, and then we've got America Olivia in here who plays Frank's mom. We get to see her in some flashbacks and such. I uh, loved her performance. Very beautiful and talented lady. We saw her in Bitch Slap. And then the girl playing Anna, Nora uh, Arnezeder. Uh, Arnezeder. Hey, sorry about that again. Uh, she was beautiful and she was fantastic in her role as Anna, this woman who's fascinated by Frank's a love for mannequins and just sees the world through this photographer's artistic eye and it really comes across screen. Maniac is definitely a creepy film. It is an unnerving film, but the deaths are fairly brutal, especially as things escalate and the maniac comes more and more to the surface. Elijah Wood selling the crazy is great. What also helps set the tone for this film, not only from the unusual way that it was shot for a slasher film, but the music. The music is definitely a send-up, an ode to the 80s music film. Definitely had that creepiness to it, had that same kind of instrumentation to it, a little bit modern spin to it, but still definitely helped add to that creep factor and set the tone for the entire film. Uh, I, I loved the music and it was, it was a, a great extra component in here to just amp up everything about this film. Now it's not a fast paced film, it's an evenly paced film I would say. Uh, you know, it doesn't get too slow in parts, though there are parts that are slower than others in the film, but that's a reason for that. It's for telling some of the narrative and some of the story about Frank. Folks, Maniac is highly recommended to anyone who liked the original film, who wants to see a, a slasher film shot in a, in a different style, or who's just looking for something that Schlollywood can't provide, which is an original type of film that definitely has the creep factor. I highly recommend it, and I think you should check it out. It's on video on demand right now, so check it out. It, the price isn't too much either, and I really don't think you'll be disappointed. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets up.